Hello everybody. Welcome again to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. So glad each and every one of you have tuned in. I got one today for you. This is one of the most delicious dishes you'll ever put in your mouth. I guarantee you it is. It's called orange chicken. And it is so, so, so simple to make. Instead of the long recipe way of making this, I'm making it short and sweet for you. Just a few ingredients. Right here's what you're going to need. Three pounds of chicken breast. One 18 ounce jar of sweet orange marmalade. One cup of sweet onion baby ray barbecue sauce. Half a cup of cornstarch. One cup of all purpose flour. Two tablespoons soy sauce. I'm using low sodium. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And of course, two eggs. Let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is chop up all of our chicken. We're gonna put these things, everybody, probably, you know, no less than an inch by inch cube. So what I'm gonna do is just split this chicken down the middle. Just cut it up. Okay, here we are. We've got it all cut up. Everybody knows how to cut up chicken. Just make it in, you know, larger chunks like this, see that? You don't want real small chunks because if you do, They'll cook faster in the oil than the bigger ones. Try to make them all about the same thing as close as possible. And also make sure you cut any kind of fat that's on them. Cut it off. You don't want no fat in this. Okay, now what we're simply going to do is get our chicken, put it into our two eggs we've got beaten. Just get it all in there. Put it in there. And just mix it up by hand. I'm using these uh, black gloves today. Okay, next what we're going to do, I've got my cup of all-purpose flour and my half a cup of cornstarch in this. And I've whisked it real good to get it all mixed. Now we're simply going to grab about just a few at a time. Shake the egg off of it. Shake all that egg off of it that you can. If you don't, this will turn into slop before you want it to. Now what we're going to do is dip each one of these things into this flour cornstarch mixture. When you get them in there, give it a good tumble. Get that stuff all over it. Then shake it off. See that? That's what you're looking for. Now I'm simply going to put that right there on my little holding plate. Okay, I have them all coated now. See that? You want them all coated? I'm going to let them sit in this tray here probably about five minutes. Let that mixture get into it. I use a cup of flour, like I say, all purpose, and a half a cup of cornstarch. Now what the cornstarch does, it makes your chicken real crispy and also... When we get this chicken in our orange sauce, it'll keep it crispy instead of it being real soggy. You know, I don't like soggy crust. Who likes soggy crust? I'd be a thumbs down. <laughs> Let's let this right here sit to the side, probably about five or 10 minutes while we prepare our sauce. Okay, to start our sauce, we're going in with this whole 18 ounce jar of sweet orange marmalade. This right here is so good, everybody. What marmalade is, is if you look real close, it's got orange peel in it. See that? You want that orange peel. My Lord, it takes it to the next level, family. Orange marmalade. You got to have it. Going in. Next, we're going in with our Sweet Baby Ray Sweet Vidalia Onion Sauce. One cup. Going in. Okay, next we're going in with a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Next, we're going in with a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next, we're going in with our ground ginger. Half a teaspoon. Okay, now that we've got all of our ingredients in, Let's stir them well. Stir it well. What we're going to do is put this on medium low and stir it occasionally. Let the marmalade, jelly, sugars, and the barbecue sugars and everything in this combine and incorporate. That's an oh my lord moment, I'm telling you. Okay, I've got it mixed good. Let's go to the eye. I've got my heat on medium, medium low right now. What I'm doing is incorporating all these sugars together in the sauce. Then I'm going to set it aside. We don't want it to boil at all, at all. We're just getting it all incorporated together. Now we're gonna fry our chicken. See how the flour and cornstarch has worked its way into the chicken? Okay, let's put it in. Put a few pieces in my strainer and then set it down in it. All right, let's set it down in there. I'll splash it up and down a little bit and make sure it didn't stick to the bottom. Here's the last of my chicken, everybody, coming out. I'm putting it over here in a bowl that's got a pepper towel in it to drain the grease. 
Now let's set this aside a second. Hard part is completely over with. All we're gonna do now is put our chicken. This right here is a 12 inch cast iron pan. You can use any pan that'll hold all this. Put all the little chicken nuggets in there. Then we're gonna pour all this goodness on top of it. Just pour it around through there. Then let's get all the goodness out that didn't want to come out. I've got my heat on a medium. Don't turn it over a medium. Now we're simply going to fold all this sauce. Have you a good spoon-like spatula here? See my spoon-like spatula? You're going to need that. Turn all this stuff. Turn it on. Get all that sauce over. Just fold it and make sure all that sauce is over all the chicken. How beautiful that looks already. We don't want none of these little nuggets to be jealous by not getting no sauce on it. Mm -mm. I can smell the ginger. I can smell the garlic. I can definitely smell the uh, orange marmalade. Just fold it over to all of it's well coated. Adults and kids will love this dish, everybody. They really will. It is so, so good. And again, the reason we use cornstarch and flour, because um, the cornstarch helps it stay crunchy it's going to soften down a little bit if i didn't have cornstarch in that it'd sog down you know we don't want that it just makes a perfect perfect combination crunch even after having all the sauce put on it so many things you can do with this dish also this dish is one ingredient away from being hawaiian chicken all you'd have to add is a 20 ounce can of pineapple tidbits drained drain your juice off and put this in where you mix your orange marinade and barbecue sauce. It'll be Hawaiian chicken then. But today we're just, I'm showing you how to make the basic orange chicken. Okay, I'm calling this done. Let's plate it up. Here it is, all plated up. Look how beautiful that is. Let's see if my camera can take it up. This is so good, everybody. It really is. Family, you need to try this for your family. It's absolutely fantastic. If you've never ate orange chicken before, this is a shortcut recipe. I've made orange chicken before lots of times, but it is a long drawn out process of a recipe. This gets to the point real quick. You need to try it. Give it a try. It'll be two thumbs up, I promise you. So I'm gonna do the taste test today, everybody. Check this out. It turned out real good. Real good, look how beautiful that is. Mm. As soon as it hits your mouth, pure flavor. This is fantastic, everybody. Give it a try. You'll love it. Your family will love it. It's just got such a unique flavor to it. So good. Orangey. Thank you for joining me today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall, where Jesus is Lord. Bye-bye.